Good morning. <laughs> this is like my like third or fourth attempt on this one. And um I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. Good morning, good morning. Hopefully uh hopefully there's no traffic today, not too too much traffic. School's out, so uh, yeah the sun just came up too, like it's it's getting better now. And um uh, <clears throat> I wasn't like that earlier. But uh I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, get ahead, do what you gotta do. Shoot, if you got the day off, shoot, you got the day off. It's the holiday, <laughs> President's Day. So happy President's Day if you got, for whoever. May your day be good. And if it's not on President's Day, if you're not celebrating President's Day, may your day be content. <laughs> so, and so. So, um, Ephesians 2 and 3, so I was supposed to read it yesterday, but, so we're going to go ahead and get, get, get to it this morning. Um, yeah, I just woke up with that little headache, I had it last night too, like, I was trying to get rid of the headache, but, shoot, it feels good outside, it feels real good outside, it's real peaceful, it's real quiet, um, Did I hear that? That's how quiet it is. No clouds. Not yet. I'm looking for clouds. I'm a I'm a cloud collector. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. I hope everybody has. I hope everybody has a good day today. I hope. Um, I hope. God does something great for y'all today. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. So good. God bless. May God bless us. I'm gonna say a quick prayer. Uh, Jehovah God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for allowing us uh, uh, to fall asleep before we drove and finally fell asleep on the road. Jehovah, so thank you. Um, thank you for your rest. Thank you for everything you've given us, Father. Thank you for your sunlight and my eyes. Thank you for uh, thank you for the sun though. Thank you for everything, you just Jehovah God. I ain't trying to be smart or nothing like that. I just uh, I just I don't know. I don't know what it is, Jehovah God. So, so please uh, be with us. Be with our families. Protect us. Keep us safe, Father, and everything you, and everything and everywhere we go. Um, I don't know. Don't, let, don't allow the devil to get anywhere close to myself or anyone I love or any of their loved ones or my loved ones. And like, Jehovah God, just protect us from the evil, from the devil. And um, may anything, anybody trying to attack us. Uh, yeah, Jehovah God, I mean, we're forgiving people. We're going to forgive them, but if someone trying to attack us, you know, You gotta attack them back. You can't let somebody attack you. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna kill you. So, Joe, God, help me understand that. <laughs> uh, or some, I don't know. But today's gonna be a good day, Joe, God. Thank you so much for waking us up today. Please forgive us for our sin, Father. Please allow us to uh, come to you and pray to you and uh, come in union with you. So we just thank you for everything you do. So we just thank you for your life, the life you've given us. So please forgive us for our sins. Um, may we, may we get the messages or get, can we just talk, can you talk to us, God? Can you talk to us, Lord? Thank you, thank you, just thank you, please. Oh God, please, like, I got a little headache, so my mind's a little off right now, Jehovah. So please forgive me for my sin. Oh. Uh, Watch out my loved ones, make sure they're safe, Jehovah God. Protect them with your angels, your mightiest angels. And um, yeah, protect the Father. So that's, you know, and protect me as well. I, 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 just protect my people, Jehovah God. Protect your people, protect my loved ones, Jehovah God. So I love you, Father. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm always thankful for you. 
あのまあ、how, does, how, like, how, does, how does someone come in the world and just be perfect? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I, that's, I mean, I, hey, that's, that's, that's awesome. So, with that said, just thank you, Jehovah God. In the name of Son Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, my mom, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I got to read the Bible. I got to get into the Word. All this stuff right here. So uh, Ephesians chapter 2. It says, Furthermore, God made you alive through... Hold on, excuse me real quick. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Furthermore, God made you alive through... You were dead in the, in the trespasses... And sins in which you at one time walked according to the system of things of this world or the, um, this age according to the ruler of the authority of the air the coming ages is that correct that's two two all right we're gonna move forward sorry uh, we're gonna continue Of course. All right. Furthermore, God made you alive through you were dead and in your trespasses and sins, in which you at one time walked according to the system of things of this world, according according to the ruler of the authority of the air, the spirit that is now at work, and the sons of disobedience. Yes, among them we all at one time conducted ourselves in harmony with the desires of our flesh, carrying out the will of a. Uh, excuse me of the flesh and of our thoughts and we were naturally children of wrath just as the rest but god being rich in mercy because of his great love with with which he loved us made us alive together with the christ even when we were when we were dead in the in trespasses but by undeserved kindness you have been saved let me read that again but God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, made us alive together with the Christ, even when we were dead in trespasses, by undeserved kindness, you've been saved. Moreover, he raised us up together and seating us together in the heavenly places with Jesus Christ. So that in the coming system of things, he might demonstrate the surpassing riches of his undeserved kindness and his graciousness to toward us in union with Christ Jesus. By, the, by this undeserved kindness, you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. Rather, it's God's gift. No, it's not a result of works. So that no one should have grounds for boasting. We are God's handiwork and were created in, in union with Christ Jesus for good works which God determined in advance for us to walk in them. Damn time. That's something bright. <laughs> Therefore remember that at one time you people of the nations by fleshly descent were the ones called uncircumcision, uncircumcision, okay, by those called circumcision, which is made in the flesh by human hands. At the time you were without Christ, alienated from the state of Israel, strangers to the covenants of the promise. You had no hope for it and were without God in the world. Today's a, diff today's a hard day to be. But now in union with Christ Jesus, you were once far off, have come to be near by the blood of Christ. I'm going to try that again. But now in union with Christ Jesus, you who were once far off, have come be near by the blood of the Christ. <laughs> For he is our peace, the one who made the two groups. So God, can you help me, Father? Can you help me read right now, Father? Can you help me just, can you help me just 
shine your light like you are, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. And my, please forgive me for my sin. Please, in my mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. For he is our peace, the one who made the two groups one and destroyed the wall in between that fenced them off. By means of his flesh, he abolished the enmity the law of commandments code consisting in decrees in order to make the two groups in union with himself into one to one new man and to make peace and to reconcile fully both peoples in one body to God through the torture stake because he had killed off the enmity by means of himself mm -mm -mm. And he came and declared the good news of the peace to you who were far off and peace to those near. Because through him we both peoples have free access to the, to the Father by one spirit. Mm, nice. Uh, chapter 3. Chapter 3, Ephesians. For this... For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, in behalf of you, the people of the nations, if really, if you have heard about the stewardship of God, uh, God's undeserved kindness of, uh, that was given to you for my sakes, by that, by the way of revelation, the sacred secret was made known to, to me, just as I wrote previously in brief. So when you read this, you can realize my comprehension of sacred secret of the Christ and the other generations the secret was not made known to the seas, to the sons of men as it has been revealed to the, his holy apostles and prophets by spirit namely that people of the nation should in union with Christ Jesus and through the good news by joint hairs and follow fellow members of the body are partakers which is of the promise I became a minister of this according to the free gift of God's undeserved kindness that was given me through operation of his power. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. See? God's power is the name of my power. God's good. Um, to me, a man less than... <laughs> God amazes me every time. To me, a man, to me, a man less than the least of all the holy ones, the undeserved kindness was given, so that I should declare to the nations that the good news about the unfathomable riches of the Christ, and should make everyone see the administration of the sacred secret that has been hidden through the ages in God, who created all things. This was so that now through the congregation. Uh, excuse me, there might be made known to the governments and the authorities in the heavenly places the greatly diversified wisdom of God. This is according to the eternal purpose that he formed in connection with Christ Jesus our Lord by means who, of whom we have this freeness of speech and free access with confidence through our faith in him. Uh -oh. Excuse me, again. So I ask you not to give up on account of my tribulations in your behalf for these mean glory for you for the reason I bend my knees to the father to whom every family in heaven and earth owes its name I pray that uh, he may grant you through the abundance of his glory be made mighty and a man you are inside with power through his spirit and that through your faith that you may have uh, the Christ dwell in your hearts much love may you be rooted and established on the foundation good morning good morning everybody good morning good morning I lost my spot so, uh, in order that a um, foundation, we're gonna go right there, I guess. We're gonna go right there. And that through your faith, 
you may have the Christ dwelling in your in your hearts with love. May you be rooted and established in the in the foundation in order that with all the holy ones you may be uh, thoroughly able to comprehend fully what is in what is the breadth and length and height and depth. <clears throat> And uh, to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all that you may be filled with, all the fullness that God gives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now, to the one who can, according to the power that is operating in us, do more than super abundantly beyond all the things we ask or conceive. To him be the glory by means of the congregation and by means of Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen i'm going to keep reading uh, ephesians 4 i should have i don't know why i started there goes that add <laughs> there goes that add sorry guys i'll get i gotta get better at it that's just there ain't no excuses about that I, uh, Ephesians 4 Therefore I the prisoner in the Lord Appeal to you to walk worthily Of the calling with which you were called With all humility and mildness With patience putting up one another In love earnestly Endeavoring to maintain the oneness of the spirit In the united bond of peace One body there is And one spirit just as you were called The one Called to the one hope of your calling one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Now, undeserved kindness was given to each one of us according to how the Christ measured out the free gift. For it says, we ascended on high, he, he carried away captives. Let me repeat that again. For, he, for it says, when he ascended on high, he carried away captives. He gave gifts and men. Now, what does the expression he ascended mean by it? that he also descended into the lower regions? That is the earth. The, uh, the very one who descended is the one who ascended far above all, all the heavens so that he might give fullness to all things. And he gave some as apostles, some as prophets, some as ev 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 evangelists. Thank you, Jehovah. Um, so I'm as shepherds and teachers. With the view to readjustment of the holy ones for ministry, minister, ministerial work. Min with the view to the to the readjustments of the holy ones for ministry ministerial oh man ministerial <laughs> so god help me please um i gotta i'm gonna finish this chapter thank you Jehovah. thank you for everything you do father So we should no longer be children tossed, away, tossed about by waves and carried here and there by every wind of teaching by means of the trickery of men, by means of cunning and deceptive schemes, by speaking the truth, let us be the, but speaking the truth, let us by love grow up in all things into him who he, he is the head, Christ. From him all the body is harmonious, harmoniously joined together and made to cooperate through every joint that gives what is needed which each respective member when each respective member functions properly the, this contributes to the growth of the body as it builds itself up in love mm. so this is what I this is what I have to say and bear witness to you to in the Lord that you should no longer go on walking just as the nations also walk in the 
ductility of their minds. They are in a darkness mentally and alienated, alienated, I guess, from their life that belongs to God because of the ignorance that is in them because the the insensit, uh, insensit, and Sorry guys. Just from my brain. I'll be okay. I'm good. I'm just having difficulties as you can see. So this is what I say and bear witness to in the Lord that you should no longer go on walking just as the nations also walk in the futility of their minds that are in the darkness mentally and then alienated from the life that belongs to God because of the ignorance that is in them because of the insensitivity of their hearts having gone past all moral sins they gave themselves over to brazen conduct to practice every sort of uncleanness with greediness or shameful or shameless conduct but you did not learn that Christ be like this to be like this if indeed You heard him and were taught by means of him, just as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away the old personality that conforms to your former course of conduct and that is being corrupted according to its deceptive desires. Oh, it's 422. You were, oh, it's a, that, that, that one goes into Romans 12 too. It's the same, uh, it's the same you know. It's, you, you were taught to put away the old personality that conforms to your former course of conduct and that is being corrupted according to its deceptive desires. And you should continue to be made new in the dom dominant mental attitude and should put on the new personality that was created according to God's will in true righteousness and loyalty. Therefore, now that you have put away deceit, each one of you speak truth with his neighbor because we are members belonging to one another. Be wrathful, but do not sin. Do not let the sun set while you are still angry. Do not give to the devil an opportunity. Let the one who steals, steal no more. Let rather him do hard work, doing good work with his hands so that he may have something to share with someone in need. Let a rotten word not come out of your mouth, but only what is good for building up as I need may be to impart what is beneficial to the hearers also do not be grieving god's holy spirit which with which you have been sealed for a day of releasing by ransom don't be sorrow cause sorrow to god's holy spirit okay put away yourself every kind of malicious bitterness anger wrath screaming and, and abusive speech as well as everything injurious Put, but become kind to one another, tenderly, compassionate, freely forgiving one another, just as God also by Christ freely forgave you. Therefore, become chapter five. Before, therefore, become chap, uh, imitators of God as beloved children, and go on walking in love, just as Christ also loved us, He and gave Himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice a sweet fragrance to God let sexual immorality and every sort of uncleanness or un or greediness not even be mentioned among you just as is proper for holy people neither shameful conduct nor foolish talking or obscene jesting things that are not befitting but rather the giving of thanks for you know this recognizing it for yourself that no sexual immoral person or unclean person or greedy person which means being an idolater idol adulterer I don't know idol, idolater <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God uh, so the, the, the unclean person they don't have that right 
Yeah, I think it was it. Has an inheritance in the king. In clean person, a greedy person, which means being an outlander. Has, yeah. Let no man deceive you with empty words, for because of such things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be shares with them, for you were once darkness, but you are now light. In connection with the Lord, go on walking in children of light, for the fruitage of the light consists of every sort of goodness and righteousness and truth. Keep on making sure of what is acceptable to the Lord, and stop sharing the unfruitful works that belong to the darkness. Rather, expose them for what they are, for the things they do in secret are shameful even to mention. Now, all things that are being exposed are being made evident, are made evident by the light, by everything that is being made evident is light. Therefore it is, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and the Christ will shine upon you. Mm. So keep strict watch that how you walk is now as unwise, but as wise persons making the best use of your time on this account. Stop being unreasonable, but, but keep perceiving what the will of Jehovah is. Also do not get drunk with wine in which there is debauchery, but keep getting filled with spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, praising to God, praises to God, and spiritual songs, singing and accompanying yourselves and accompanying yourselves with music in your hearts to Jehovah. Always giving thanks to our God and Father for everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be in subjection to the one be in subjection to one another in fear of Christ. Let wives be in subjection to their husbands as the Lord. As to the Lord, because a husband is dead. Oh my God. Be in subjection to one another in fear of Christ. Let wives be in subjection to their husbands as the Lord, because a husband is the head of his wife, just as the Christ is head of the congregation, he being a savior of his of this body. In fact, as the congregation is subjection to the Christ, wives should also be to their husbands everything. Husbands, continue loving your wives just as the Christ also loved the congregation and gave himself up for it in order that he might, uh, in order that he might sanctify it, cleansing it with the bath of water by means of the word so that he might present to the congregation to himself in its splendor without a spot or a wrinkle or any of such things, but holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. A man who loves his wife loves himself, but no man ever hated his own body. But he feeds and cherishes it, just as the Christ does the congregation, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother, and he will stick to his wife, and the two will be one flesh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a beautiful morning. Very beautiful morning. I think my headache went away. Um. Mm -mm. Six. Children, be obedient to your parents in union with the Lord. For this is righteous. Honor your father and your mother is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and you may remain a long time, remain a long time on the earth. Sorry. <clears throat> Honor your father and fathers, do not be irri irritating your children, but go on. I need a little, ch a little chirper. Sorry. And fathers, do not be irritating to your children and go on bringing them up in the discipline and ad admonition and admonish uh, ad ad we're gonna put on um, instructive guidance on that one and fathers do not be ir irritating your children but go on bringing them up in the discipline and instruction or guidance um, of Jehovah Sorry. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters and fear the trembling and the sincerity of your hearts as to the Christ. I had to learn that too. I remember I was in the prison 
And uh, my mom was sick. She was real sick. She had a. Um, she was in the hospital for a while, so. Uh, she, um. Ammonia, whatever. Ammonia, whatever. You know, not whatever, but I'm being, I'm being ignorant right now for some reason. But, um, so my mom, she got real sick. And, um. We didn't know if she was gonna make it. Thank God, she, thank God. Jehovah God, I love you. And, um. I was in prison, so it was it was a rough time. And so I had to go work, got to go to work, right? So I had to go. Uh, my job was a uh, uh, SSI. So SSI is a guy that goes cleans the dorms and stuff like that. Goes in there, and he's the one that he's the one that can move things. You know what I'm saying? Just to so you know. So <clears throat> and um. I remember I went to work and like, and like, I remember telling myself, cause I, I felt like, I felt like that shit. And uh, so I excuse my language, but, uh, but I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be locked up in the dorm. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be staying at, in the dorm all day. So, or as it was at nighttime, everybody's asleep, that's right, it's three o'clock in the morning. And uh, so like, I just remember like those three days, like four days, like she was in there for like two weeks, but like four days I was working the, my shift or whatever, like, I'm just gonna do everything, work good for God. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta do everything for God. Like, so like, when I, you know what I'm saying? Like hard work, all the hard work, everything it goes to God. Like, yeah, sometimes like we do our things and like, excuse me, Sometimes I do my things and like, um, it could be like it's selfish, you know what I'm saying? Or it's, uh, I could sound selfish, I could be selfish for a moment, but like, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the, when it comes down to the, to the truth, um, cause I had to think, I had to think about this. When it comes down to the truth, everything's done for Jehovah God. Like I, I do everything for, out of, for Jehovah God. I do things for like because I mean yeah I'm worried about human we're worried about human uh, thoughts and feelings of others and stuff but not but take out the but with that said <laughs> there's a lot of um dishonesty um and that there's a lot of dishonesty these days so like nobody's gonna keep it real about the feelings and, and uh, nobody's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Until, you know, we gotta, get, we gotta, we somebody's gonna do it. Somebody gotta do it. But like, not most people. Nine out of ten people are not gonna do that. You know, they're not gonna uh, be responsible with their feelings and accountable and what they do and stuff like that. So, uh, I do everything for Jehovah God. And yeah, and yeah, I do, like, my mind sometimes, and I, you know what I'm saying, like, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, like, we get into it, like, we gotta, we gotta catch ourselves, we gotta, I, I say check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know what I'm saying, but, yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> so uh, I do everything for God, you know what I'm saying, like, I remember when, when my mom was real sick doing that, uh, during that time, whatever, and, um, <clears throat> I remember, you know what I'm saying, I thought, shout out. The boss lady would be like, hey, they're all happy. It was clean. I clean like, most of the time, they don't even clean it. They make them even try it. And so, like, dang, you don't, excuse me. So let's go ahead and finish this thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Love God, I love you. Jesus Christ, thank you. I love you. All glory to, to you, Father. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters with fear, trembling, and the sincerity of your hearts as to the Christ, not only when being wicked, being watched just to please men, but Christ slaves doing the will of God whole souled. Not with eye service as men pleasers. Hmm. People pleasers? Oh, they're people pleasers. Slave with a good attitude as to Jehovah and not to men for... You know that whatever good each one does, he will receive this back from Jehovah, whether he is a slave or a freeman. Also, your masters keep treating 
them in the same way, not threatening for you, not not threatening for you know that both their master and yours is in heaven and there is no partiality with him. Finally, go on acquiring the power in the Lord and the mightiness of his strength to put on a complete suit of armor from God so that you may be able to stand firm against the crafty acts of the devil. Because we have a struggle not against blood and flesh, but against the governments, against the authorities, against the world rulers, and this darkness against the wicked spirit, spirit forces in the heavenly places. For this reason, take up the complete suit of armor from God so that you may be able to resist the wicked day. And after you have accomplished everything to stand firm, stand firm, therefore, with the belt of truth fastened around your waist wearing the breastplate of righteousness and having your feet shod in readiness to declare the good news of peace besides all of this take up the large shield of faith now you gotta take up that large shield of faith the most important one and the they're all important they're all important which with which you will be able to extinguish all the wicked ones burning burning arrows excuse me also accept the helmet of salvation. That's a very important one too. And the sword of the spirit. That's a very important one too. God's word. Also accept the helmet of salvation and the sword and the spirit. That is God's word. While with every form of prayer and supplication you carry on prayer on every occasion in spirit. And that in stay awake. Constantly making the supplication on behalf of all the holy ones. Good morning. Pray also for me that the words may be given to me when I open my mouth so that I may be able to speak boldly and make it known the sacred secret of the good news for which I am acting as an ambassador in the chain and chains that I may speak it with boldness as I ought to speak. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now so that you may also 22. Okay. No, now so that you may also, excuse me, know about me and how I am doing, uh, Tysius, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will be making every no everything known to you. I will be sending him to you for this very purpose so that you may know how we are and that he may comfort your hearts. May the brothers that have peace and love and with faith from God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, may the undeserved kindness be with all those loving our Lord Jesus Christ and and in corruptness. I'm going to read that again. May the brothers have peace and love with faith from the God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May the undeserved kindness be with all those loving our Lord Jesus Christ and in incorruptness. Uh, can I ask something real quick? Uh, this is don't, this is my version. May the brothers and sisters. Huh. Can't forget the sisters. Huh. Alright. God, we, we, we want to come to you. We pray to you, Job God, that uh you are, that today that uh any evil attack, any uh, demonic attack, any spell attack, any evil, wicked, sick, twisted, deceiving, fear, vengeful sickness twisted everything jehovah god anything negative you know what i'm saying nasty disgusting irritating ignorant spirit we ask that you rebuke it immediately jehovah god immediately rebuke all spirits against you jehovah out of your people out of the people's vessels out of the people's homes out of their jobs out of their Cars out of there, everywhere they go. So we'll get to church and be good. Church is good. So God, thank you for everything you do for my life, for the, the people you put in my life, Jehovah God, thank you. Because man, without those people, I don't tell you. So thank you, Jehovah God, for everything you do. We're so grateful and thankful for everything you do, Jehovah God. We really are.
And we just we love you. We we're sorry when we come short and fall short of your glory, Jehovah God, and and, and fall to sin. May you help us to change our ways and in, in ways that you want us to change and ways how you want us to be fixed. And may we follow your will and may we live with your will, Jehovah God. And uh, Jehovah God, we love you. May you correct us when we need to. And um, may any evil attack, Jehovah God, be stopped just right there, dead in his tracks. We, I, we, I forgive every person sending me, but I got to bless, bless that game, Jehovah God. I mean, we pray for you. Bless you. Got to pray for your enemies. So we're gonna, ask, we're gonna I, you know, I'm gonna ask for forgiveness for them and stuff like that. But um. But to the important people in my life, there's no ears to end the bush. Protect them with all your might, Jehovah God. Protect the families with all the might, Jehovah God. Thank you so much for your power. Thank you so much for that authority right there, Jehovah God. So please, with faith, I, don't, I mean, thank you really, not please, but thank you. Oh, protect them with all your might, Jehovah God. And thanks for the things you're doing to your spirit, to your church, to your people, to your word. And um, so you talk to us every day. So we love you. We love you so much. Please forgive us for our sins. Let's have a good day. Um, that's all, Father. We just thank you for your everything. We're so grateful and thankful for you. Thank you, Jehovah. And uh, Lord Lord Jesus, we love you. The mighty Son, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, I decree, I declare, in the mighty Son, names of, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And amen. Now have a good day. Uh, this is a little bit longer than I expected, but hey, it's all right. Now have a good day. Um, the, look, things are going to happen to your day, okay? You're going to get thrown off somehow, okay? You're going to get a, a headache or something. Something's going to, whatever it is, okay? Something's going to happen, but I promise you, God will help you. He will help you, and you can overcome it, and, and, and it, you know, in a good, decent amount of time. You don't have to sit there in, in your in the misery and continue to add to that and just make things worse. And that, so God is good. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Uh, so believe that gotta believe that gotta have faith if you don't have faith if you don't believe it then learn to because we're gonna somebody's gonna teach you because blessing your blessings you know what I'm saying for everybody I love y'all God bless y'all um, even me so I declare uh, I just want to you know, continue to to God's spirit, the Holy, you know, to continue to heal his heal his people, God's people, and um, his love, God's love, continue to uh, his faithfulness and loyalty, continue to give us life. So basically, you know what I'm saying is what it is. So to give us life. To recuperate, restore, to to heal, you know, we, everything in our body meant to heal, physically, mentally, emotionally, and and uh, spiritually. Everything's meant to heal and get stronger and get better. That's the way evolution of life is. You know what I'm saying? You, you get a scratch or whatever, and your body heals it or whatever, and then whatever it does. You got, like you get that one of them cuts or whatever and it's all ugly for a little bit or whatever like shoot at the end of the day it comes out like better than you know what i'm saying like you touch it like oh it ain't right you can't feel it you know it gets all cut you get callous sometimes the body heals to be in um because it went through a uh tra a traumatic traumatic response or whatever in your head or whatever uh, uh 
you traumatized. You get traumatized, and um, so your 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 body or whatever gets in survival mode, and um, really I'm like death mode or something, and um, so it learns not you know it don't want to put it it's not, it don't want to put itself in that situation again. So it's gonna you get tolerant. You get tolerant to it and then you heal. So it's a process. I love y'all. Have a good day. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. May God bless y'all. And um Today is not Monday fun day. Today is Monday. Fun day. I don't know. Okay, have a good day.